Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon, not here with Geeky Sparkles in this video, and this isn't uh, new news, actually. This is uh, this is from a couple of weeks ago. We're gonna talk about Disney Lorcana, the trading card game, you know, the Magic the Gathering knockoff. There's lots of uh, controversy around this game because apparently there's a lawsuit that uh, Ravensburger is being sued by, I think it was Upper Deck, because Upper Deck uh, had this guy working for them, developing this game, and then he wound up uh, working on the Disney game, and they said it's basically an identical gameplay system. So they have a lawsuit going on now. <laughs> it's Disney and lawsuits. Imagine that, you know? Uh, so that's going on right now. And there's been a lot of controversy about how short uh, the production runs were on the first batch of cards and uh, the ridiculous prices that these cards are going for on eBay. What I had missed is that there was violence at Gen Con because of these damn cards. That's not a good look for Disney, is it? That's not a good look for Gen Con. Remember, remember uh, Gen Con, <laughs> uh, if, if uh, somebody punches you, you can get banned from the con forever, right? That's how Gen Con works. That's how the Gen Con rules work. Uh, so we're going to talk about this uh, incident, and I missed it. And uh, I just happened to see it the other day. I figured, yeah, we'll, we'll do something on that. Because as far as I can tell, the only place that was really talking about it was Polygon, weirdly enough. And I think Polygon's gone, gone kind of hard in the paint on some of these tabletop companies, uh, for sure. They definitely were going after Wizards of the Coast. So I, I, I can respect that. They're holding their feet to the fire. We'll, we'll talk about this, because I guess it was quite the uh, cluster at Gen Con. Before we get into it any further, Please subscribe for more pop culture, news, views, and rants, guys. Uh, no woohoos today. I'm sorry. She's out. Geeky's not here. She will be back tomorrow for more videos, as always. And this one didn't really interest her too much. She's like, yeah, it's just, you know, nerds getting beat up over cards. <laughs> yeah, it's, but it's not just. It's just not just. We're going to talk about that because um, they were, like, knocking over wheelchairs. There were verbal and physical assaults, I guess, going on at Gen Con. Again, Gen Con's the only convention I know of where somebody punches you and you get banned. Somebody threatens you for weeks, you show up at the convention, you get hit and they ban you. Uh, you say something out of turn on Facebook and you get banned. How the hell does that work? So Anyway, uh, this is up on uh, piratesandprincesses.net. Disney Lorcana card game triggers violence at tabletop gaming convention. What? What? I might, I'm going to steal that. That looks like they use some of our assets for this. Uh, pushing, shoving, and overturning wheelchairs. Also, gamers could get their hands on the new Disney uh, trading card game Lorcana. Uh, we knew Lorcana was a huge hit given the short supply of cards and the insane resale prices. Yeah, these cards are going for like $30,000, the ones at D23. Uh, what we didn't know was that the launch of Disney Lorcana was marred by eager gamers getting into literal physical altercations over the game at Gen Con, the biggest tabletop game convention in North America. It took place in early July. It's no surprise that gamers would be uh, getting a bit testy given the insane lines. Check this out. This is the line. This is the line for Lorcana. And this is uh this video is coming from uh, Game Boy Geek on YouTube. But look at that! Look at that! It's freaking insane for a bunch of Disney cards. That so the deal, the big deal here is that it's a brand new system. A lot of people are probably thinking it's going to be like Magic the Gathering, where if you have the first series cards, they're going to go for a lot of money. And they're correct. I mean, again, there are some really insane prices being asked for these cards. Scalpers are selling these cards for big bucks. Is it going to last? I don't know. People are saying the game's actually not that good. It's it's so-so. People are going to buy the cards, though, because this is Disney. You know, and as much as we slam on Disney on this channel, there are a lot of people that will buy anything Disney. So you're not just getting the trading card game crowd. You're also getting the Disney collectibles crowd. So it's like a double whammy, right? So according to Polygon, though, things got really chaotic at Gen Con. They said when the gates were open for Gen Con, the fan line, they had a fan line for these cars. They said it was not honored by security. Instead, it was broken up. The mix-up put Ravensburger's most dedicated fans at a sudden disadvantage, with many having to get back into a new line with hours of waiting still ahead of them. That's when alleged pushing and verbal confrontations occurred. One attendee even reported a wheelchair was overturned in the crush. Now, I've had this happen before at uh, movie theaters. We had it with 
I can't remember what movie it was. I think it might've actually been like Endgame or something. We went to go see it and everybody had, basically everybody was there early. So you know what happens like when you're someplace early and you decide this is where the line starts because I'm the first one here. And then what sucks is you're like, I'm the first one here. This is where the line starts. And then then like the theater or whatever, they open, they open up and they'll start the line at like the other side. And then you were first in line. Now you're last in line. You know, that has happened to me before. Uh, if they want to avoid the wrath of their customers, you ask them, okay, excuse me, who was here first? Where did you guys start the line? Oh, we did right here. We've been here longer. Okay, cool. I'm going to take you guys and I'm going to take you down to the actual line down here. And then everybody just kind of follow me like kindergarten. We're all going to walk down the hall together, you know, go table by table. And we all walk down the hall. That is the ideal way to do it. Apparently that did not happen. But the next day, I guess it was a little more organized, but not after uh, there was all kinds of drama on uh, Twitter. Gen Con had to put a statement out. It said that the uh, line for tomorrow, this is on August 3rd, the line for tomorrow is going to start 6 p.m. tonight. So people waited overnight for the cards. Uh, lines will start to form outside Hall F doors at Hoosier Concourse. This will stay in place and feed into the Ravensburger booth starting at 10 a.m. tomorrow. So you get in line at 6 p.m. Can you imagine for Disney cards? Getting in line at 6 p.m. and freaking 16 hours, 16 hours later, you get to go buy your cards. 16 hours. Yeah, 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. And then another four for 10. Yeah, 16 hours. 16 hours for a box of freaking Disney cards. Hell no. I mean, you do you, man. You do you. But hell no. Hell no. I would not do it. This guy says, I was there at five this morning when you told us to line up in one spot. Five o'clock. And four hours later, you said there was no line and everyone shoved forward and seethed for an hour until uh, they opened the doors and then a stampede flooded the hall to stop. I never got a chance to purchase. That would have been on the third. Um, wow. Wow. Uh, another person recounted how a wheelchair was turned over in the chaos, got shoved over by the Lorcana mob as they were letting the ADA people in by people trying to shove their way in. I got pushed over and twisted my ankle. I watched someone's wheelchair get tipped. This is absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, it's crazy if they're knocking over wheelchairs to get Disney cards. Disney cards. According to the initial report from Polygon, Gen Con, and game manufacturer Ravensburger, reportedly course-corrected and minimized incidents for the remainder of the weekend. The next day, I guess things went well. Uh, Gen I don't think they, they expected it to be this popular. I wouldn't, I, I'll be honest, I would. I didn't expect it to be this popular, but it is. Gen Con have been excellent partners and we greatly appreciate their efforts in working with us to find a line management solution, said Mike Ritchie from Ravensburger. Uh, they worked quickly with us in the Indiana Convention Center to figure out a solution that worked incredibly well throughout the rest of the weekend. We have not started conversations with Gen Con about 2024. I don't think the lines are going to be as bad. I don't think you guys have anything to worry about, but we will do everything we can from both sides to ensure attendees at next year's convention have a great experience. Polygon noted the publisher brought out coffee, donuts, and other snacks starting on the morning of August 4th, but it still doesn't make up for that poorly run first morning, they said. And then they just go on to talk about how Lorcana wasn't Disney's first trading card game. There actually was Sorcerers of the Magic Kingdom, which they stopped. Disney stopped. I don't know if you guys remember that, but they had these portals all over the Magic Kingdom and you'd uh, do these like little quests and stuff. And I have to wonder if they aren't going to repurpose this or if they won't, you know, take out Lorcana and, and integrate it into the theme park somehow. It was kind of cool. I have a bunch of these cards. It was kind of neat. You'd hold the cards up and it would do different stuff and you'd do the quests and they had different cards for different events. And um, I don't think they're, they're showing the cards here. Here we go. There we go. Yeah. So it was, it was kind of cool. It was kind of cool. Oh yeah. The Pokemon card thing. That's what it reminds me of is the Pokemon card stampede. So there we go, guys. Uh, do you think it's worth it to get, uh, to wait in line for 16 hours to get assaulted and punched and maybe punched or shoved or yelled at or have your wheelchair knocked over just to get a box of Disney cards? Do you think it was worth it? I guess it depends on what they're going for on eBay, right? 
I mean, who knows? Maybe it was maybe it was more than worth it to these people because of, of how much they're selling for now. But I don't think it's worth it. I'm going to wrap it up. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. And we'll talk later. Help support the channel. Go to thereef.support and get early access to podcasts, videos, and other content. That's thereef.support.